Hello guys and welcome to another Mumbak Monday. For the guys that are new at the channel, Mumbak Monday is all about fishing tips, tricks, and we've discussed a little bit of um, fishing gear and tackle. Um, on a Wednesday I upload a new video. I started this 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 range of videos a couple of weeks back um, discussing the Sassan Horizon range um, of rods. So I'm going through all of the actions. We started off with the medium, working our way up all the way to the triple XH. In every week's video, we discuss the specific action of the rod. Where does it fit in in your arsenal? What do you target with it? With what braids and with what um, reels do they pair the best? So that you can get the most out of your rod. And when you go and purchase a new rod, that you ex know exactly what it is that you require and which one of the horizons is going to suit you best. I see there's quite a lot of um, questions about other rods in the range. So yes, I am going to discuss them as well. Um, after the horizon range, we're going to look at the two Evos. After the Evos, we're going to look at the Bluefy Special as well as the Equinox. Maybe we will touch some, a little bit on the Solar as well, but the most questions are asked about those rods. So I reckon we can, can work through that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, so we can, yeah, we can even extend it and do a bit of a broader the range of assassin rods as well. I'm talking about the assassin rods because that's the rods that I've been using for years, and I really like them and I fish them a lot and I know them quite well. Yeah, it is not a paid promotion, not an advertising um, video for assassin or iFish or any of the brands. It's just my rods that I use and what I prefer. This week's video is we're discussing the Ryzen Zero XH, the extra heavy 15 foot. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. the Ryzen XH, the extra heavy 15 foot. It is rated 6 to, out, 6 to 8 ounces and its recommended braid sizes is 40 to 50 pounds. But like I've mentioned in all the previous videos, the ratings on the rod is just an indication for you um, to know what to throw it. What, it's just an indication for you to know what, to, what single way to use and what line claws to use. But you can go slightly lighter and slightly heavier as well. A little bit on the specs of the rod, like I said, not going into much details of the rod, too much technical stuff. Um, once again, comes fitted with the Fuji Real Seed, um, Assassin Bionic Finger, EVA Grip, Fuji Anti Tangle Guide with the SIC inserts. SIC inserts are less abrasive on your braid, making your braid last quite longer. Essentially, it is a much smoother insert a guide insert and just to clarify as well the Ryzen XH is made in two colors it is available in the Pertia green as well as the silver one that I have here the two rods are identical there's no change in the action no change in the blank no change on the guides anything nothing is different the only only difference between the two rods is the color so if you prefer the green buy the green if you prefer the silver buy the silver to me I don't mind the color, it just needs to work and catch fish. So where does the XH fit in and why do you want to buy an XH? Well, the XH is one of the first models that Assassin made because it's, it's a generally used rod, especially in the competitive world. But the XH to me is basically your all-round non-edible rod. So now we go moving away from the edible fish over into non-edible fish the rods that you're going to buy if you want to target non-edible fish. So that's exactly where the XH fits in. And that's what I said, um, like I said earlier on, to me it is basically the all-round non-edible rod. It is really comfortable to fish with. It's physically a light rod, but with the capabilities of throwing really big baits, 
when I'm talking about non-edibles, I'm talking about all sharks and rays. And to me, it's a little bit of an overkill for edible fish. Um, if you want to use it for edible fish, I would recommend using it for, for big cob, using big life bites to throw big life bites. Or when you're using, or if you want to fish for muscle crackers in, in between foul reef and you really want to pull the fish quite hard, um, that you can use the XH4. But to me, it's more of a rod that I'm going to target my medium non edibles to my really big edible, non edibles. So I get a lot of questions on the XH and people asking me, is the XH? capable of landing 200 kilo black rays? Is the XH capable of landing massive sharks? Is the XH capable of throwing really big baits? And my answer to all of those questions is yes. Every single time it is yes. The rod is more than capable of landing really big fish and throwing really big baits. And that's why I love the XH so much. So when I go and fish and I and I fish for, for non eds it is a really awesome rod to still enjoy the fight of a smaller 10 to 20 kilo shark but when I want to throw for a big shark I can just take off my 30 or 40 pound spool put it on my, my 50, 65 or 80 pound spool and I can throw a really big bait and I, th I can land a really big shark on it and that's where, where, where the XH is such a great rod is it is a great all round non edible rod like I said um, it's really light in your hands, comfortable on when you're fishing with it. When I say comfortable, it doesn't break your back when you're fighting a big fish and it still has more than enough backbone. And I've mentioned it quite a few times in the video to throw really big bites and to pull a really big shark. I think a lot of people can under, underestimate the rod once they, they feel them in the shop and they, they, they shake the rod and um, they, it can feel a little bit soft. and the, the rod only comes to you at the right once you put a reel on it, put a fairly big bait on and you throw it and then you all of a sudden can feel well there's a lot more to, a lot more to this rod than, 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 what, than what you thought. This is my favorite rod when I'm, on, when I'm fishing for duck bill rays, you guys will see when, when I'm actually targeting duck bill rays I, would li I like to use my XH just because it's, it's not um, a too heavy rod, I still want to enjoy the fight but I do want to apply maximum pressure when I want to. Um, and that's what the XH allows me to do is to enjoy the fight and still apply maximum pressure when you need it. If you're thinking of buying one rod for shark fishing, the XH is the way to go. I mentioned that the rod is a six to eight ounce or it's rated six to eight ounce. Six to eight ounce doesn't mean it's six to eight ounce including your bait. It is only your sinker weight and it excludes your bait. Um, I found that the sweet spot for the rod for me, for my casting action, remember every, uh, every guy's casting action differs slightly. So you'd go maybe heavier on the sinker, maybe lighter on the sinker. The sweet spot that I found with the x is a seven ounce. Seven ounce with a medium sized bait with like a tennis ball sized bait or even your smaller bait when I'm targeting um, hammerhead sharks or blue rays on a far bank out or just a good size duck ball bait I prefer a seven ounce when I do a really big bait for, for ragged tooth sharks and um, for big bronze whalers something like a sara sara head or a big um, bull mullet head with fillets around or a yellow tail head uh, I often throw a 6 ounce because the, my casting action is a little bit fast, it feels like I'm overloading the rod but I, knew, I know a lot of the guys stick to a 7 ounce and even some guys fish a 8 ounce with um, a smallish trucker bait or a medium sized diamond sized type of bait with a macro lead with two flaps on the side they, they, still, they throw a 8 ounce and sometimes a 7 but to me I don't, I don't like an 8 ounce on my XH, my, I use an 8 ounce when I'm fishing the double XH. But no, that's why I think the sweet spot of the rod is definitely a 7 ounce for me. No, and I mentioned the line rating 40 pound to 50 pound, that is a PE3 to a PE4. But I do often fish this, the, the rod with um, something like a 10,000 twin power or a 14,000 spool. 
that 30 pound braid on um, especially if I want to get a lot of distance doing a lot of weighting keeping the rod as light as possible not putting a 20,000 on it because you're making a lot of cost for today and um, you, know, you want something that's light and comfortable but then it really fits well with the 20,000 um, something like a 20,000 Stella or a 20,000 Saragoza and on that you can put something like either a 50 pound JDB Ultra Tough or um, a 65 pound Drop Zone Ultra Tech or even an 80 pound braid on your 20,000 and fit that on your um, Ryzen XH and you're not going, it's not going to feel like it's too thick or like uncomfortable um, and that's that's like I said earlier um, that's one of the big reasons why I love the x -Age is because I can easily take off either my 10,000 put on a 20,000 and fish it comfortably or take my 20,000 spool and take my spool with the 40 or 50 pound off pound and slap the 65 pound or 80 pound on and I'm ready to go for a big shark um, for the guys that use not everyone prefers Shimano reels. I'm talking about Shimano reels because that's the reels that I fish and um, I've been using Shimano reels for over 20 years. But some of you guys are Daiwa fans and Ping fans. Like I said, the beauty of the rod, it's, it allows you to fish a smaller size reel up to your really big reels on it. When you're fishing a pin, um, you can go from anything like a 6,500, 6, a 7,500 and an 8,500 fishing either in the pin, sla pin slammer, torque or spin fisher will fit it really comfortable for the guys that are throwing using the rod as the big rod just for um, big bronzes and you need a lot of line ca ca um, capacity and you're not worrying about or your combination not getting a little bit heavy you can fish the 9500 on the rod as well um, in the dialer range 6000 or 8000 something in the dark fight or the BG or Saltist or whatever you guys prefer to use in the dialer range in the new models the, the new Saltigo models work exactly the same as the, the Shimano ranges so you'd either go a, 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 a 10,000, 14,000 or a 20,000 that would be the ideal um, real size for, for the rod and yeah guys I don't know if I missed anything on the x -Age. little recap like I said it is a, a great all round non edible rod if you want to use it for for if you want to use it for edible fish i'd recommend it using it for fish where you need to really bully the fish something like muscle crackers or yellowtail or um, throwing a big bait for a big cod um, something like a big life bullet or a whole octopus or whole for octopus a really really big and bulky bait that's where this will fit in but to me a little bit of overkill for for edibles but when it comes to to edible to non-edible fishing i really love it it's really enjoyable catching your smaller to medium sized fish on it while still having the, the confidence in the rod that when you hook a really big shark that you can land it with ease and if it's if you want to buy one rod for non-edible fishing and you don't want to spend and you don't want to spend the money on two two setups for sharks the xh is definitely the rod to go so yeah that basically covers it for this week's Mombak Monday I hope you guys enjoyed it please like the video please share it and um, please subscribe to the channel um, new video on Wednesday I finally got an idea how I'm going to give the Horizon HXL away the 15 foot so stay tuned and watch Wednesday's video to see how you can win or how you can stand the chance to win the Horizon HXL 15 foot heavy the rod is valued at eight and a half thousand rand so it's a really awesome prize and like i said in last week's video i absolutely love the rod and i fish a lot with it but anyway just guys i'm out don't forget to subscribe see you wednesday